Hello and welcome to another edition of Pay Dirt TV. I'm Dominic Piper. Today I'm joined again for the second time in recent weeks by Andrew Cunningham, Technical Director at Walkabout Resources. Andrew, thanks for joining us. Hello, Dom. Thank you. Now, you're already well established uh, in Tanzania with your Lindy Jumbo Graphite project, but you've now acquired the Amani Gold project in the country as well. Tanzania is a well-known gold exploration destination and there's well-established mines in the north of the country. But this is Amani's uh, slightly away from that gold heartland, isn't it? That, that's correct, Dom. It's, um, as you say, it's not in the traditional mining areas in, in Tanzania, but, but that said, uh, the Amani region is about 300 kilometers south of the Lupa gold fields where um, Ashanta Gold, the aim listed company, is, is currently has producing mines. Now, this is an, uh, an area which was, uh, there was an alluvial gold rush in the, in the, in the 1990s. Uh, escaped the attention of all the traditional exploration companies in Tanzania. It came to my attention that nothing has been done in this area looking for the for the for the gold. We're not interested in the alluvial gold. It's the it's the source, and uh, we've been keeping a close eye on it. The area has been blocked out uh, by the government for uh, tenement applications. That has recently changed, and therefore we have the opportunity to peg uh, quite a large piece of ground. The, the, the gold field shows a, a lot of similarities to the Lupo gold field. It's, it's, it's a very exciting, it has all the technical fundamentals that one is looking for. Um, it's obviously well endowed with gold. There's a lot of uh, alluvial mines or small, small scale mining in, in the area. Um, in various, uh, you can virtually go up to any stream or tributary and there's, there'll be some diggings for gold. Andrew, you've pegged these projects outright, so you're not uh, relying upon a vendor or anything like that to, to get access to them. You can Once the licenses are granted, you can access them straight away? We pegged it a couple of months ago and it's uh, the first license has been recommended for grant by the by the government in Tanzania. Um, we, are, we are perfectly set up in country. We've got a, a very competent technical team there. Um, we can get going straight away. Um, uh, this is not distracting from the work that we're doing elsewhere or, or in country. Um, and uh, we can get going there straight away. Why do you think uh, the wider exploration industry missed this target originally? Dom, it's strange because the, the area was was origi originally exploited or, or explored by the Germans pre-World War I. Uh, there's evidence of some shafts that they sunk there in, into the hard rock. Um, there's very few of the um, artisanal miners which have primary mining licenses over, over these over some of the hard rock occurrences that are, are digging some shafts. I have seen no evidence of, of uh, use of explosives, so it's all hand uh, hand dug at, at this stage, um, and and it's in those areas uh, that we that we we are interested in the hard rock occurrences. Now, there's there's also been uh, recently there's been quite a bit of work done by the University of Stellenbosch, the geology department of the university, uh, where they've been looking at the provenance of these gold fields. Uh, the the nuggets in the alluvials have shown that they the the source is is proximal to where the to where the uh, um, alluvials are, are being mined. They found numerous occurrences of uh, hard rock um, exposures on the ground with, with visible golding. So that is what makes it very exciting for us. So what's walkabout strategy with, with the Amani project from here? Once you get on the ground, is it straight into drilling or is a lot of early stage work to do first? So it's going to be low cost. It's going to be, uh, we can get onto the ground pretty quickly, um, but it's not straight into drilling with, with huge expenditures, but it's narrowing down on those targets. Do you have any idea of what sort of mineralization you're looking at? It, it's shear zone hosted. Uh, as I said, the, it's, the, the geology is perfect for this, the geology and the structure, brittle duct, ductile systems, uh, similar to the Lupa gold field. Um, and it's those targets, it's those structural targets in the shear zone hosted gold, um, the orogenic gold that we're looking for. Should uh, investors see this as some sort of move away from, from the company's prior focus on the Lindy Jumbo Graphite project? We are, are still... Um, flat out on the on the funding part of, of Lindy Jumbo. Uh, Lindy Jumbo doesn't need any more technical input. We've been through very stringent due diligences by the uh, one of the top four uh, consulting companies in the world. Um, and there's no areas that we need to uh, dig deeper into the technical side of Lindy Jumbo. So uh, because we're so well set up in country with our technical team, uh, we can move on to this project without influencing the Lindy Jumbo project at all. 
Andrew, very encouraging to see that you're still active in Tanzania after a difficult time for miners and explorers in the country. Is this an indication that, that Walkabout's confident in the future of the Tanzanian industry? We have no problem operating in Tanzania. Um, I've been operating there for the past 20 years on and off. We've, we've all been, we're all very familiar with the country. We all encourage what's happening there. Um, obviously, it's gone through a difficult time, but we've just been pushing along all the way. Um, Tanzania is a, is a is a well-known country for gold mineralization. It's, it's, it's well endowed in other minerals. Uh, we're very comfortable. Andrew, thanks for your time today and good luck with that early stage exploration at Amani and of course the ongoing funding of the Lindy Jumbo project. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Don.